OK, good. Our next task will be to create a function with a parameter. Let it be plus 10 with a parameter a. That gives us the sum of a and 10 as a result. Always begin with the def keyword. Then type the name of the function, plus 10, and in parentheses, designate the parameter a. The last thing to write on this line would be the colon sign. Good. What comes next is very important. Don't forget to return a value from the function. If we look at the function we wrote in the previous lesson, there was no value to return. It printed a certain statement. Things are different here. We will need this function to do a specific calculation for us and not just print something. Type return a plus 10. This will be the body of this function. Now, let's call plus 10 with an argument 2 specified in parentheses. Amazing! It works! Once we've created a function, we can run it repeatedly, changing its argument. I could run plus 10 with an argument of 5, and this time, the answer will be 15. Great! Pay attention to the following. When we define a function, we specify in parentheses a parameter. In the plus 10 function, a is a parameter. Later, when we call this function, it is correct to say we provide an argument, not a parameter. So we can say call plus 10 with an argument of 2, call plus 10 with an argument of 5. People often confuse print and return and the type of situations when we can apply them. To understand the concept better, try to imagine the following. There is an argument x which serves as an input in a function, like the one we have here. The function in this case is x plus 10. Given that x is an input, we can think of it as a value we already know. So the combination of x and the function will give us the output value y. Well, in programming, return regards the value of y. It just says to the machine, after the operations executed by the function f, return to me the value of y. Return plays a connection between the second and the third step of the process. In other words, a function can take an input of one or more variables and return a single output composed of one or more values. This is why return can be used only once in a function. Therefore, we can say the concept of a function applies to programming almost perfectly. There are some extra advantages to consider. You could also assign a more intuitive name to a function, plus 10 or addition of 10, and the function will still run correctly. This is a sign of good design. On a sheet with 1,000 lines of code, if you call all your functions x1, x2, x3, and so on, your colleagues will be confused and utterly unhappy. Naming functions clearly and concisely makes your programming code easy to understand, and it will be accepted as one of good style.